Now. So I'd like to introduce Carmen. Carmen joined her first architectural office in 1980 and worked in a very challenging environment for 13 years in commercial design. Upon thinking about the direction of her life back then, she thought there has to be more to life than this day, day after day grind. So setting down a path after decades of refining her abilities, her priority now is finding and maintaining life-work balance and creating healthy living and working environments. Whether she is involved in new residential or condominium projects or commercial projects, the countless hours spent drawing and on-site staging show homes, private residences, and apartment lobbies has given her a well-rounded and diverse background, which enables her to tackle most design challenges. Painting, working out, playing piano, most outdoor activities, and reading are some of her hobbies. She totally loves walking daily with her English Springer Spaniel Luna, exploring many wonderful trails in Edmonton and area trails in Edmonton and area offers. Her newfound interest is learning how to play the ukulele. Her motto now, just do it. It's easier not to. And with that, I will pass it on to Carmen. Good afternoon, fellow BNI members and guests. For the purpose of this presentation, I will be focusing primarily on fundamentals for accessorizing, planning and budgeting. Whether or not it's for a show home or for your personal um, home, I typically follow these kind of guidelines. Okay, next slide. So who is Carmen? Well, this is my family. We were very fortunate last July, just before COVID kind of came down really hard on lockdowns. We all got together at Salt Spring Island. I think the biggest disappointment for my husband, Mark, was we couldn't pick up a sail, but we did manage to get in uh, some great hikes and a lot of pool time. Next slide. So some of my favorite things to do are mostly about outdoor activities. Nothing too radical, mind you, but I do like to participate in most activities. One of my COVID promises to myself was to learn to play the ukulele. And my husband actually bought me one for my birthday this year. So he normally gives me arts, uh, gives certificates for art supplies as he believes that this is his retirement investment. So this picture is again, skating, cross country skiing. I love playing my piano, you know, painting for sure and great hikes up at Salt Spring. Next slide. Okay, well down to business now, like, Professionally, I'm an interior designer and I'm an artist. What I provide is proper plan, planning and technical drawings, budgeting and using authorized dealers for top brand names, giving you a leg up on finishes and furniture. Over the years, I developed great relationships with my sales rep and I do try to pass on as many of my design discounts that I get to my clients. So, if my philosophy is if you do the work up front, the rest will actually fall in place. And this really always starts with the floor plan. So you've heard me over and over talking about this plan, but it really, really is the key. I can determine a budget uh, for the furniture, window treatments, accessories, uh, including plants, lamps and area rugs, artwork, wall treatments, and of course the design fee. So every time I do a floor plan, each piece of furniture, every piece of artwork is located, the size of the area rugs are determined, and this I use for my tool. So what kind of accessories do I look for? Well, are they functional? Are they soft? What is the texture? Are they kid-friendly? Are they durable? And of course, are they beautiful? Next slide. So fundamental one, start fresh. New show homes are easy to do this with. And it's my job to create a vision for my builder. So having said this, visualize an empty bookshelf and think about what you want to fill it with. Some repeating interesting objects, perhaps using different materials and textures and possibly some family photos to make this your own. Visual landscaping is another consideration. So see how the heights of the artwork and the accessories make your eyes zigzag through the space. This kind of is the same when you're painting. You want your eyes to scan things comfortably so they don't have to work so hard. Next slide. Fundamental two, quality, not quantity. I didn't spend much money here on dinnerware, as you can see on the um, right-hand photo, 
But uh, I did spend a lot of money, believe it or not, on the floral arrangement and the artwork. This gave me the visual impact I needed, provided texture and interest. It also was the focal point in the room and it uh, actually tied nicely with all the colors of the artwork. The giant pair that you can see off in the left came from HomeSense, which is um, sometimes a hit or miss shopping there. But this was a very inaccessory, uh, inexpensive accessory, took up space and I thought it was really cool. Next slide, please. Fundamental three, combining textures and colors. Neutral doesn't have to be boring. Same as the last slide, combining interesting materials that all work together creates visual calm. Doing a cream on cream or a monochromatic color scheme actually does take a little effort as you have to provide interest combining textures and patterns and different shades of the cream. Everything has to work together. You might want to add some sparkly bits in this one or some shiny metal objects. Again, just a reflective surface is always nice. Next slide, please. Budget. So budget-friendly fireplace design. This electric fireplace was an extra in this home. So I had to come up, so it had to come from my budget. Being mindful that this was a high ticket item, I had to come up with a surround that was cost-effective yet visually satisfying and functional. So keeping with building a uh, standard tile and a basic hearth design did the job. I was still able to hang a piece of artwork and create a very comfortable reading area. And it was all in my budget. Next slide, please. Another example of choosing quality over quantity. A few well-placed pla uh, pieces is all you really need. So repeat and repeat is another one, but uh, the vessel you can see on the coffee table and the vessel holding the twigs, they were fairly pricey, but again, I didn't load up everything with accessories. Next slide, please. Another example of combining pattern and textures, repeating. Generally, people are afraid to use wallpaper or vinyls, but technology has come a very long way, and this is definitely a way to get a visual impact in any space. Murals also have been making their way back from the 70s. Murals Your Way is a great site for inspiration, and they're very affordable. Next slide, please. Fundamental four, layer, layer, layer. Custom bedding can be very expensive, so knowing how to create the layered look without blowing your budget is tricky. This is an easy illustration on layering. You can combine pattern, textures, and finishes. You could add an extra rug by the foot of the bed or bench just to create another layer. Lamps in this room were black glass, so adding a reflective shiny surface creates high contrast and a bit of glitz and some sophistication. I usually budget a lot for my lamps, at least $250 pop. So again, they do add up. Next slide, please. Fundamental five. Be wise to accent colors. I spoke last time about different color schemes, the monochromatic com complementary color schemes, triad schemes. But when I do a show home, I like to keep it fairly simple depending on what is trending. In this home, I chose navy blue. Keep in mind that one color will have a light, medium and dark shade. So really you actually have multiple colors to work with. Lots of homes or spaces now use an achromatic color scheme, which is a colorless scheme using blacks, whites and grays. It all depends on which way my client wants to go. I use artwork to tie in my feature accent color or colors. Slide 13, please. Next slide. Of course, I'm gonna to talk to you about my art. Not only is this a category that needs to be budgeted for, it is a big ticket item, it is my passion. Here are a few of my examples of some commissions that I uh, completed last year. So on the bottom left-hand corner is uh, a different form of artwork that I normally do. It's uh, called a free pour, and I had some fun with that. The top left is more of a photo finish, as is the, the right top and the bottom. Now, nature and animals are not my forte at all, but I really did have uh, fun with this one, and it was quite a challenge. Next, next uh, slide, please. This was another commission I did. It was a triptych, 90 inches wide by four, four feet high. And believe it or not, I did start with a plan. And this was, uh, the concept for this was basically from West Coast to Prairie. I think the Prairie kind of got lost, but maybe that will be the next one. Uh, next slide, please. Artist therapy. 
So art is cheaper than therapy, but the top referrals for me going forward here is color consults, renovations, art commissions, new builds, and commercial spaces. So call to action, if you hear of anyone that is tired of living in a dated home and doesn't know how to get started with changing things up, or is sick of all the clutter and needs refresh and get back in the trend, or even if you hear of any lifetime changes happening like empty nesters, downsizing, or people divorcing, or perhaps somebody wants a very special gift or very thoughtful gift, everlasting, I can commission a piece of artwork, um, or if people really want to build their dream home, please think of Sea Wild Designs. I really can help in many different aspects of design, getting your home or your office space back on track and loving your space again. So thank you for your time. And being creative actually does take courage. So just do it. It's easier not to. Thanks. Awesome. Well, great job, Carmen. I start that like everyone says it. Are we all saying it? I'm confused. What are you saying now? Do we all say DNI? Oh, terrible. Yeah. Start me out. Do you want to say DNI? Say it more casually. Like we're not trying to rehearse the most impossible phrase in the world. Now. Now. Be Be Oh. 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 O